is going on YouTube? It is your boy, Papa Macman. Today, I want to talk about Actman himself, alright? Let's forget about the drama. Let's just look at what Actman's doing. Because personally, I think the man's is trying to blow up his channel. Like, I think he already realizes that his channel is kaput. Like, he's demonetized. He won't make any money. And if you're not making the cheddar cheese, then why even upload? You know what I mean? But I feel like he's trying to do like a, uh, you know, if I'm going down, I'm taking everyone down with me. And this all started because he made some jokes in his video and he posted a tweet basically going like, haha, let's dox YouTube employees, which, you know, is kind of a bad thing when those are your boss. You know, I wanna, I wanna show it to the man like the next guy, but when it's your boss, you know, and you start saying it publicly, how you're gonna release their information publicly. To you, it may be a joke, but to them, they're like, Oh my god, this person with millions of followers is gonna release my information. So, I get it. But the thing is, is that I'm kind of seeing a little bit of a change now in the whole Actman situation. I think people are kind of starting to see Actman and his whole, like, you know, justice for Actman thing as a little bit of a ploy. A little bit of a scheme. And I mean, if he's a YouTuber, probably he's gonna like try and, you know, get something out of this, like either change or like revert his situation. But I've been seeing some people on Twitter questioning, you know, Actman himself. He's trying to go for YouTube's cheddar cheese now. See, and here's the thing. He's a big creator himself, Actman, right? This is a problem that consists with all channels from like five subs to, you know, 10,000 to a million subs. You know what I mean? This is a problem all the way to the top. You know, even Mr. Beast probably gets like dumb false flags. But I feel like I understand where people are coming from when they say that, you know, he's kind of using the situation now. Some people are saying that he's putting on an act, man. Get it? Like his name? And you know what? He might be. Like, he might just be like, you know what? If I make a big enough outrage, you know, I'll get my channel back. And, you know, I can grow from this, and I can become more relevant after this. That's assuming he has YouTuber brain. But what do you guys think? Do you think Actman is right with saying, you know, like, Oh, haha, ha, let's dox the employees, ha ha ha. Or do you think, you know, like, hey bro, chill out. Cause, I don't know, I feel like the guy, he's trying to make an outrage, but he's also, like, actively going after YouTube employees. And I don't know if you know anything about YouTube, but they are really, really, like, no-no when it comes to messing with them. Like, Quantum TV was petty. But YouTube employees, oh my gosh, they're the worst, they're, the, they're petty. I've seen them get so upset over the smallest things. Anyways, if you're here, you might as well hit the like and subscribe button and hit that notification bell because this is a news channel and you're gonna wanna find out what happens tomorrow or some other day because stuff always happens. Oh, oh, oh.